Welcome to the news from Bahrain Television with Esther Galoom. The Minister of the Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired today the fourth meeting of the GCC Joint Security Exercise Arabian Gulf Security One in the presence of the Public Security Chief, Major General Tariq Al Hassan. The Minister welcomed the heads and members of the delegations, saying that the meeting comes within the framework of enhancing cooperation and coordination and exchanging information between the security bodies of GCC countries, noting that the joint security exercise is an opportunity to, to exchange expertise and unify concepts amongst GCC countries. He added that the exercise helps to overcome security challenges facing the region and improve the GCC security bodies, which comes under the wise directives of their majesties, their highnesses, leaders and interior ministers of the GCC countries. The interior minister stressed the importance of strengthening cooperation to face the challenges and dangers facing the region. He said it was vital to provide all the backing and support needed for implementing the exercise. The minister then wished all participants success in the exercise. The Assistant Chief of Public Security Training Affairs, Brigadier Hamid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, presented a brief on the goals implementation stages and levels of the exercise, which will contribute to enhancing efforts to face all kinds of threats. Bahrain's oil minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, today chaired the founding meeting of the newly established Gulf Refining Union, which will be headquartered in Bahrain. The meeting was attended by a number of senior officials from GCC oil companies who discussed appointments, regulatory matters and protocols, and general administrative issues. The participants also discussed ways of strengthening communication and cooperation in the field of refining and facilitating the sharing of knowledge between processing enterprises and investment bodies. This, they said, would increase efficiency in the vital sector and contribute to the economic and social development of GCC countries by enhancing their position in the global industry. The attendees emphasised the distinct role of the Union in attracting investments, exhibitions and conferences to the region, as well as in facilitating the establishment of GCC delegations to represent the region's refining industry at international events. They added that the Union will encourage the establishment of more oil refinery and service companies and will also lead to the introduction of new vocational training programmes and specialised courses and universities. It's a professional organisation that was... Uh really the brainchild of the people in that industry. Uh, we're just happy to support and happy, happy to have uh, Bahrain be the base for this uh, association for refiners uh, now. The founding members are, of course, Saudi Aramco, uh, uh, Kuwait Petroleum Corporation, and Babco. Uh, Babco is really where it all started. Uh, refining started here in 1936, and uh, so and Babco has been the longest serving refinery in the region. And I think we, we've had so many conferences in the past. Having an association like that will definitely bring advanced knowledge in uh, refining. Uh, in the past, the region has been the, one of the largest exporters of crude. More and more, we are processing that crude. So the amount of projects happening in Saudi Arabia today and have been completed in refining, the projects that are happening in Kuwait, and the new Babco expansion we hope to kickstart early next year. Uh, make the region the center of the refining world. And crude is only consumed after it is refined. You cannot put crude in your car, but you can put gasoline and, and diesel in cars and trucks. For that, industry is an industry of science and knowledge and experience and operations. And all of that, hopefully, uh, will, will be topics covered by the association. This is a non-profit organization at the, at the beginning and it's the main objective is to put the oil companies together taking care of refining to form this association in order to cooperate in all activities related to refining, either cost cutting, best practices, uh, uh, meeting together to uh, uh, decide on what kind of activities related to refining business will help the uh, uh, the oil companies and also the country they are operating in how to do it in a more efficient way.